What's up, guys? Servando Ramos here, back with another episode of the 1970 Mustang. Man, I tell you what, it's been about five weeks since I've gotten to film anything. It's been so hot here in, in Houston, Texas. Uh, Humidity is really high, so it feels like over 105 degrees over here. But uh, actually, the real reason why I got a little backed up on some of the uh, videos is I ordered some wheels. I got all the wheels in. I got the tires in. We're going to go over what wheels I bought, what tires. But uh, my um, lug configuration, uh, they sent me the wrong ones for the front wheels. So they sent me the wrong uh, five lug configuration for the front and uh, so I ended up having to send those back it took five weeks to get the the wheels back for the front uh, the, the rears are already mounted um, but uh, we're gonna go over some things today and uh, see if we can get these front wheels uh, put on here manually and uh, see how it looks on the car guys so uh you saw there um took the old rim off the bolts weren't really tight on there so that's why I, I was able to get them off pretty easily i actually had it off the other day just to check the bolt pattern and stuff like that but um i got the new wheels that they sent me in today they're already mounted and balanced i got them mounted and balanced earlier so now what we're going to do is 
flip the camera we've seen everything backwards it's probably because i'm doing the selfie mode but brown now and uh so here's the new wheels these are the vision torque uh wheels they're not expensive rims they're not expensive wheels uh they're just something to kind of spark up the project for now inexpensive way and uh the tires actually are a little bit um costly uh these are the neato 555s they're about 200 dollars a piece and uh actually cost a little bit more than each wheel but um figure to put some good thread on them you can see the back ones are already on so they fit really nice got some good meat on there looking pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and try to put these front uh, wheels on I'll situate the phone um, so we can catch action hopefully uh, Bolt pattern is correct now. So we're just gonna find out. Okay, so my little homemade phone stands while I'm recording. But uh let's go ahead and check out these uh bolt patterns and hopefully we got the correct ones. Actually so these are supposedly the lug nuts that are gonna fit in here, and then I got the center spinner. That's why I took the original factory out. Actually gonna have to take these wheels off pretty soon uh, I got some brakes ordered so I'll be uh, putting some new brakes on them. but uh, fit right on there perfectly so I probably do have the socket and an automatic um, wireless cordless drill to be doing this instead of doing it by hand but um hey i just went with it see what i have here uh, available right away I actually don't mind doing it by hand, kind of the old school. Looking really good. Oh yeah. I like how that looks. Looking real nice. Alright, I'm gonna get the other side on and I'll be back. All right, so we are inside the front driver's side wheel well of the 1970 Mustang. Um, eventually, the springs, coil, the coilovers, um, control arms, I want to replace all of this. But um, most important thing is going to be getting some brakes on this thing. Uh, just kind of test fitting the rims, the wheels. I got brake pads coming in and I'm just going to do a basic brake, brake pad change um, and then uh, see about getting rotors if needed and uh, start changing out some of this front and rear suspension but uh, slowly but surely you know as the budget allows uh, so we're going to go ahead and put these this last front rim on and uh, go ahead and lower the car and see how it sits. All right, guys. So there you have it. Got the rear and the front wheels on. So 
So these are 18 by nine and a half in the back. And these are the Vision Torque. I believe Torque 142. You got the 18 by eight and a half in the front. Didn't have any wheel rubbing, any issues like that. Um, they look pretty sharp. They're not too crazy expensive. They're budget wheels, but they look really good. And uh, this is the company, visionwheel.com. I didn't order them from directly from the company. Ordered through a sub company. And uh, take a look at here exactly what I got. You're the Vision Torque. There's the numbers for them. Uh, and these actually were about between 140 to 160 each. I believe on the lower end, 140 each. These are the eight and, 18 by eight and a half. Offset negative six millimeters. Um, that is the correct um, bolt pattern there. And uh, of course made in China. <laughs> but um, just for now, just to get the project running, they don't look too bad. Uh, got a lot of meat on there on those tires. They look pretty, pretty fat. I'm thinking I can maybe lower an inch um, in the front, inch in the back, not sure yet. I'll worry about that later. Once I get all the suspension components on uh, that I want to put on there. And look at that. We got some little friends that made a, a little house here. That's going to be gone real quick. But um, so we're going to continue working on this uh, 1970 Mustang. Uh, next project coming up in a couple episodes. I already got the floorboards that I need. I got the front passenger side and I got the rear driver side piece. Uh, not sure I'm gonna put that. They're just very small pieces in the in the four panel that are rusted through. I'll have to check how uh, how strong the rest of it is. Whether I want to put that whole piece in there or just cut out the pieces that I need. Uh, I don't know which I recommend um, to either put in that whole panel or just cut out what I need and then you know weld it in place. Uh, also, I'll be taking these bumpers off. This front bumper. Uh, you can see how it's raised. I guess they hit they hit it here at the tip whoever had it before and uh, I'm buying the front and rear bumper kit uh, Getting it off of uh, Believe CJ pony parts uh, It's only about two hundred fifty dollars for the for the set and I already got the lower valence that metal valence for the rear and the front so uh, I'll be doing that um, and then um, that'll kind of be it for the outside for now uh, until I start prepping it for paint uh, I am gonna have to order some mirrors uh, I believe the driver side is correct but the passenger side I don't believe it's it's a correct mirror for it uh, I'll have to double check uh, those are expensive. The OEM mirrors are about 150 a piece. Um, other than that, I kind of just my goal right now is just to have fun with it and get to drive it around. Safe, safe driver on the you know, take it to a couple shows and kind of just show it like the way it is. Get ideas from people, um, ideas for paint. I'm looking to you know I, I'm trying to make up my mind what I, what color I'm going to end up painting it. Uh, not sure if I should get just the dash cover that's $99 or get the actual OEM dash replacement that's about another $150 extra, $250. So I'm not sure what I'm going to go with on that. I am thinking about doing a center console. Uh, I, of course, I'm going to keep all the original, uh, original parts. I want to keep the original parts, definitely. Um, Actually, this one, I've already spray painted it all black. Uh, the interior was an ugly green color. And so, definitely not going to stick with that. I'm going I'm to go with red and black on the inside, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Red and black. 
uh, or black with red, you know, red striping and um, black carpet. Once all that's ready to go, go with the black dash. Already got the steering wheel in there, but uh, uh, little by little, I do want to add. This did not come with the factory rear spoiler, uh, but I do want to add one because I just like the way it looks. It's my car. I'm gonna dress it up how I want it. Uh, it's still a, a 1970 rear spoiler, so um, I'm gonna end up putting a rear spoiler on it. I don't think I'm gonna put the rear window uh, shades. Uh, kind of like it open like that. That's just my preference. Uh, another thing, I do got uh, Flowmaster, um, what they call it, Flowmaster Cherry Bombs. Um, so I'm going to be deleting the mufflers and just put Cherry Bombs on there. Hopefully it's loud as, loud as hell, kind of what I'm going for. Um, these pieces here are also going to be ordered next. Um, as far as the body, that's pretty much all I'm going to need is these rear pieces it's called the tail extension piece or quarter pan rear quarter panel extension so these two about 150 dollars each and then uh i'll be good with that bumpers going those ugly muffler tips those are just cheap tips those are, those are going to be gone i'll be getting the exhaust um redone uh once i put once i take the mufflers out delete the mufflers any other cool ideas guys um I love the hood. This is my favorite part of the whole car, having that original 351 emblem with the blinking lights that are still working. They do work. Um, all this is kind of just like surface rust and old paint. Um, so this is just uh, this is going to just be labor, sanding it all down. Uh, you saw over here, I was kind of playing around with it sand it down the trunk i didn't sand it down all the way it just kind of messed with it in one day it still needs to, it still needs a little bit more uh i only took auto body in high school so uh, i'm kind of nervous about working on the body myself i actually want to just pay somebody to to either help me do it or or do it for me even though i have to do a couple panels at a time you know just because the budget this is this is a a daddy's budget uh car here so um you know family's first but uh this this is part of my family now keeping this baby for a while uh pass it down to my kids this is just be first of many that i want to restore so um thanks for hanging in guys uh definitely be working on it and loading more videos coming up real soon uh stay tuned add me a like comment any comments any ideas uh i love all the feedback thank you for all the support um i will be selling these rims with the tires the tires are kind of old but they'll probably be good for burnout um and these are in case anybody wants to know uh 245 60 by 14s bf goodrich front and rear rear the rear are a little bit wider than the front um so i'll probably be selling those on marketplace or something like that if you're interested in them and you live in houston houston texas uh i'm not trying to ship anything unless you want to pay for the shipping you know and you you can get everything registered and printed out and i'll i'll send these wheels to you for uh for an agreed amount or um if you have something for this 1970 Mustang you want to trade for those rims, uh, I'd be open to suggestions. I, I'm, I am uh, hoping to add NOS to this. I want to, you know, maybe add a 150 shot of NOS uh, just for fun. Uh, should be able to shoot 150 shot on that engine all day long. Um, and that's about it. So I'll be back with y'all soon, guys. Talk to y'all later.